raved about all finals. But their execution has been perfect too. Clean, taking their chances. Oh, I don't see anything coming back from here, but you're right, Lingy, though. They have to risk losing this game by a big margin. They just have to take the game on, play on at all costs. So a half an hour to go. 34 points in front. We start the final term with a slight anti-climax as we reset. Can Adelaide hold their nerve and do something extraordinary here? We know they're a heavy scoring team. They'll have to break all the records. Martin breaking the tackle to Cochin. Called that a few times this year. Gets to half forward. Rioli takes a wonderful mark. A little too far out to score for him. Looks to get it inside the pocket. Butler Rose got his own crumb. Graham, he's kicked three today. Not this time, though. So the Tigers down 34. Nankervis let go of it in the end. Adelaide, as the boys mentioned, are going to have to find some early goals here. Because if Richmond get the first and second, it's going to be difficult. No, it'll be all over then. Already difficult. Yeah. Plus 22 contested possessions, Richmond against a team that prides himself on winning that area. Superb. Ned Curvis wins the clearance, belts it forward. Hey, boys, you just keep looking for something at ground level from the Adelaide Crows players. I mean, we're close to the action here, and you just can't see it. You just can't see the energy that somebody's going to provide around the contest to get them going. Let's see if they can find it, Tim, from somewhere. Rioli to do the ruck work against Jacobs. Gee, the game has changed, hasn't it? Taken down, McKay, ball not quite out. He's trying, well done. Let him up, let him up, let him up. Well, on Tim's point now, it's the Adelaide players are reactive, they're worried. You see the arm across Dusty Martin, they're worried where Trent Cochin is, worried where those small forwards are. Completely reactive to the contest. Revolt. Holding the ball, advantage, took it out of the ruck. So Matt Crouch with a high ball, doesn't get much advantage, doesn't get a far, and Lambert has been outstanding again today. He has. He really has indeed, Bruce. And that was a courageous mark. 60 metres out from the Tiger City end goal. Pops to the square. Here comes Rewald. He's marked the ball well today. And this is the third of the big marks that he's taken. Jack Rewald will go back to give the Tigers a 40-point lead. Well, we spoke about his role today, and it wasn't about marks. It was about competing, and you're right, PT. He's marked the footy beautifully. He's competed. Now gets an opportunity to hit the scoreboard again. Yeah, his second goal on the go here. Kick one in the second. Rerolt from 25, stands and delivers. The Tigers kick the first of the last to lead by 40. You learn a lot on grand final day, don't you, about the winners and the losers? You certainly do. Here we go. And it is all wonderful for that team there. Their the game plan suits finals. And their willingness to embrace whatever role they've been given. So Nankervis, after Cochin created the chaos to give Nankervis the chance. McKay. And that ball still in, still in. Hardigan can't quite get it out. And you need, you need your superstars, you need your great players playing well, like Dusty has. But Kane Lambert, that mark that he took, courageous to go back, he's the one who then got the ball into Jack Rewalt. Players like that, they rise. The players with great character who will do anything for the team to win, they rise up on grand final day as well. So important. Sloan, two first quarter goals today. He was on fire early. Ball hustled out the back door. Martin somehow took it away. Now he tries to take them all on. There were three of them there. The advantage paid. The Lynch kick is very impressive. Jenkins probably should have given the handball. Now goes wide to Crouch. Crouch was cornered. Probably should have given the first one. And now very deep and wide to Tex. Walker. Kick the last goal. 14 minutes into the third. 
Only kicked one goal in the second half. The skipper from the perimeter piping couldn't get it to swing back. Big pack and off hands. Cameron, or was it the smother? Was. And Richo, I just want to know from you, you're sitting down there on the boundary line just for a moment. As you see, Cotchen here. Desperation again. He just throws himself, we know that. We, we... His final series has been as good as anyone's. Yep. And, and he highlights that willingness to play whatever role he's given. He's embraced the fact it's not about him getting 35 possessions and being that player. He's happy to do whatever's needed. Rioli. They can pull off some grand final tricks of Rioli's Greg and that one coming back. So, Richo, as I was saying before, how are you feeling right now? 40 points up, 39 up. Nervous? <laughs> no, it's look, it's been a remarkable display so far in this game. We've got to finish it off, but they've just smothered the Adelaide Crows today. Sloan's long ball, Lynch gets across the front. Advantage, advantage. So the advantage now with Broad. He's done a good job, Broad. All these new guys have done a good job. None better than uh, Graham, the 19-year-old. Sloan coughed it up. They're on. Lambert got it from Revolt. Rioli's behind him. Lambert with a bounce. Lambert with a second bounce. Lambert goes across. Didn't really have to. Do you know what? It's target time. That's what it is. Prestia seals it. Enjoy it now. Just sit back and relax. Soak it up. It's over. But it's beautiful. Richo, stop yeah. mopping your brow. Just relax. <laughs> I'll try to, Bruce. Benny Gale and Peggy O'Neill up there. They should be enjoying it because they... They did a remarkable job at the end of last year. And now it's time to just soak it up as a player, Liggy, when you know you've got the game won. Absolutely. Enjoy every minute of this. He doesn't like kicking goals, Lambert, does he? <laughs> no, we saw those sprint efforts. So many of them have come from the small forwards. Players like Lambert as well. Pressed nice up. Job. One Up of their big recruits. Stay out. Capping off the second of their last quarter goals. Laird, who's been in the Adelaide Crows best all day. 50 metres. And this will bring Brad Crouch. No, no, you needed to deviate right out. So, coming in within the 10 metre protected zone. And Brad Crouch, as a result, will get an easy look from 25 out directly in front. For just their second goal of the half. Into the Tiger cheer squad at the punt road end. Crouch scores for Adelaide. Welcome right there, of course. The last premiership coach of this team. The only one beats him. Yeah, well, yeah. he's hard to be a messiah. Quite he is. And enjoys it. <laughs> Prime Minister of Australia, the Honourable Malcolm Turnbull, looking on, and President and Chief Executive of this footy club. Adelaide get their second goal of the second half. And they still trail 47 to 86, a 39 point margin. Butler couldn't quite. Cameron. Showed a bit early. Kicks to centre half forward. Hi, Ottens. It's Walker's free kick. Hi. Dave Asprey will be Bad disappointed there. Just went over his shoulder. Come around. Yeah, there it Come is. Around. There, that right arm, as the umpire just explained. But he's done a wonderful job, Dave Asprey, along with that Richmond back line. Rance, Grimes, Floston. All of them have been superb. Hawley with his run. Well organised unit. Good kick. He gets his second. They get two in a minute. 33 points. They 
they can score quickly, can Adelaide Bruce. Not suggesting they can <laughs> get that many, but they have had the ability to kick multiple goals very quickly. Richo, just have the hanky ready just in case. <laughs> I think you're safe. Well, you never know in footy, do you? They've got nothing to lose now, the Crows. So Richmond have now got two extras back here, guys, in their defensive okay. half of the ground. Or is it one? That's one. One extra. Here we go. Adelaide, successive goals. Back to 33. Another one here. Brad Crouch launches a long ball. Ranch with a thumping fist wide. Here's Lynch. Look for the handball back inside to Cameron. Couldn't quite find him. Good tackle again by Reds. Gee, having a crack down there. And they lock it in their forward 50. So after Tom Hafey, there was Tony Jewell, yep. who took them to the promised land in 1980 there. Most recent premiership. Yep, he did indeed. And remarkably, at the end of 81, he was showing the door and didn't get to coach them in the 82 grand final. Francis Burke, that was. Jacob's little snapshot. And a minor score there. So... 32 points now and Chris Newman a former skipper there as well of the Tigers McIntosh a target Grimes from the side Brown tries to hold up the run of Graham Matt Crouch 30 again today I mean he hasn't had the impact to be honest but he he's got 30 again no he's been I think he's been brilliant Matty Crouch for Adelaide but when you haven't got other players doing it around you, you just don't feel like you have that same impact. Hasn't been quite as creative as he has in other games, but I'm part of a midfield that's been dominated. Seedsman taken down. Crouch puts a good tackle in. No opportunity. To be honest, the last five minutes is probably the best footy Adelaide have played since the first quarter. They've left it a little late. Here it is. They have indeed. 32. Time disappearing. Matt Crouch, Lynch, Cotchen, Grigg, Townsend, wonderful trap, difficult trap. Gives it off to Prestia. Been very impressive today. Caddy the intended target here. Hardigan interferes. Surely he won't pay the advantage. So Caddy has a free. Let's have a listen. Hey. Sorry, I can't. Come around, Josh. Hardigan Keep coming. said he stopped me from jumping by holding me down. Just here. Thank you. To Just umpire here. Sean Ryan. Yeah, Caddy, a chance here. He has one, and he has a chance to nail it completely shut, I would have thought. Those fans are ready to launch skyward as Caddy from 45 has kicked it to the left. They go down the middle here with a long ball. Do you reckon? I mean, they, well, they, they just have, have to be brave. Yeah. They decide to go short. Just got to move the ball here. They just by doing this, they give themselves no chance. You may as well lose it by ten goals trying to win it. So Seedsman, long kick. We know. Can he find the right target here? No one really moving for him. No real option. So he has to kick to, well, kick to a tiger and Rance, and he's got it. <laughs> he's been huge tonight. He's almost. He may win the Norm Smith. I mean, the stats say no, but he's had as big an influence as anyone today. Well, he's only had 10 touches, but the influence has been oh, in other areas as well. Castagna dropping the mark. Brad Crouch there now. Looking to load up Hardigan. Hardigan wide to... Laird. That's why Rich Kelly it was. You've got so many players that have played well. Not an absolute standout on their team. Can't stop. Got to go. Got to go. Tex, the one-on-one. -on -one. Got the height advantage and the strength with Floston. Walker Come needs on. to wheel and go and does. That should have been 50. The Richmond player was in the way there. Now the kick goes forward up. They fly. No winner in the air. Come Off on. hands here. Cameron tries to brush the tackle. Can he get rid of it? No. The Tigers stick the tackle and get the reward. Oh, they've stuck the tackles all day. It has been a real highlight. They've created turnovers. Last week, Adelaide scored 111 points from turnovers. Today, Richmond have won that stat 59 to 24. So impressive. Revolt won a good one on one with Talia and gives Rioli a running chance. Look at this. 
the speeds to Brown, gets back Rioli with a bit of a trick, a second trick, Lever gets him, Rioli still gets his boot to the footy and gets the ball forward, what a play. just sums up the Tigers, doesn't it? He just wanted it more, didn't he? Good effort to get boot to ball in the end, as you say, Bruce. A little sore as a result of it, Daniel Rioli. Out the back, Crouch and Kelly. Pooley to Lambert. Now Martin, the crowd light up. Centering ball here, Townsend Lever with the only fist there, knocked down. McKay, straight down the eye, diddle diddle. Cameron tries to shake the tackle successfully. Got her under Douglas. Direct to Protea. Couple of bounces. Just missed time the second. Couldn't give the handball off in the end. Now Cameron goes wide. So here goes Lynch again. 70 metres out. Could have gone to the boundary. Elected to go inside. And the smother by Floston. Oh, I'm not sure that it was deliberate, but it was impressive. Well, that's been Lynch's strength all year. In that position, using the footy, Rioli coming from the ground after that Herculean effort a moment ago. Jacobs worked underneath. Lambert getting better, if that's possible. Griggs' hands beautiful. Edwards arches the back, kicks it long to a very good spot. A very good spot. And Townsend, who kicked a goal from about this range, can do it again. See, their matchups have worked well today. He'll give this off to Basha Hawley. Great run. He's the one who started it. And great run to get down inside 50. The Townsend's matchup on Jake Lever has been brilliantly thought out but brilliantly executed as well. He's done it all final series. First game against Lockie Henderson. He's done it today on Lever. It's had an enormous game. Actually, the Prime Minister didn't do him any favours earlier this year, Basho. He's watching right now, but he's had a spectacular grand final. Is it coming back? It's a behind. Could have finished with three goals, Yep, Basho. He's been solid. Wouldn't want to be voting on the Norm Smith today because you could throw a blanket over a number of players for Richmond. This has been a real team effort. Well, here's the man you're just speaking of, Townsend. Talk about fairy tales. 15 goals in five games. Jacob Townsend, <laughs> while doing a roll. He's thinking, how easy is this caper? Three of them finals. Yeah. Liston medal winner. He would have been thinking, I'm just going to play out the year, maybe in the VFL. No, he's on the biggest stage. The MCG, about to be a Richmond Premiership player. 35 out. Townsend Second goal today. Nine minutes remain. Do you want to roll his play again today? And have a look at this. The moment where they do realise. Yeah, they're soaking it up yeah. now. Yeah. And so are they, Duck. So back to 40 points. Townsend with a couple of goals. They've had nine goal scorers. As Wayne said, the norm swiss so hard because they've got so many good players. I mean, to be truthful, Martin's been as good as any of them. He's been solid. Everything he has done has been important. That one going wide. Good kick to McIntosh. And then McIntosh spears it inside to Caddy. What about Caddy? I mean, Gold Coast... Cats, a heck of a journey. Benny Gale there with Peggy O'Neill. They stood firm behind this bloke and their team about this time last year when everything was hitting the fan. They ignored the external noise, didn't they, Bruce? Yep. They ignored the noise, knew they had the right coach, gave him some support, and they've nailed it. As he got the trip, hasn't quite, gets to full forward, and it'll be a boundary throw in. 13th 
13th to first. No one's ever done that, but it's, it's the biggest, biggest margin ever from 13 through to one. Yep. I mean, you just wouldn't have thought this was possible in the position they were in last year. It really is a fairy tale happening here at the MCG. It's happened slowly in front of us this year, but it's coming to a pinnacle here today. Barmy done so much since joining the Tigers and all the big four there. These two it won't be long before tears flow with those two, I would have thought. I think they're starting to well up a little bit there. You yep. mentioned Neil Baum, BT, the perfect man to support Damien Hardwick in that Richmond footy department, along with Dan Richardson. But he uh, stuck such a steadying influence. Right foot banana, oh. it's there. Oh. It's there from the boundary line. Look at the Tigers come from everywhere. Look at the coach's box. Beautiful. 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 That's what it means. That's what it's like bragging for a footy team you love. And work for. Remarkable scenes, aren't they? Just the overflow of emotion. The realisation, and look at Matthew, it's just been a day that it's, it's hard to envisage it's how it's happened, but it has. We had the dogs last year, and we've got the Tigers this year. Flossed and wide, Lambert onto it. And it's not just the win, it's not just the drought, it's the quality of the football they play. They've been... Magnificent. Oh, look at this with I his think, son. Yeah, I think that's his son there, Brendan Gale. And they have just erupted up there. There's tears flowing. Even our own Richo might have had one or two as well. Here's Castagna in front of Brown, flicked it back to Butler. He tried the soccer. Didn't quite work for him. Martin blistering. Wouldn't this cap it off? Wouldn't this cap it off? And he misses. Today, Martin. This is why we love footy. To see the emotion, the passion of these fans who've waited so long. Oh, it's a special game. We get the pleasure of watching. 100,021, the official crowd here today. 100,021. Caddy ripped it away. Back to Jack. And then Revolt centering the ball. Martin front spot. Martin's got it. And Dusty hooking, hooking, hooking. Oh, that's, that's it. in the same week. He's the first. He stands alone, eh, in the history of the game. As a Richmond player, I'm talking about a Tiger to play in the grand final. First ever. I mean, Bartell and Ablett did it for Geelong. And we've had half a dozen before Dusty. We were the first Tiger to do it. He's had a good day. <laughs> He's had a great oh, day. The relief there. <laughs> so does that mean? Back to the middle we go. But it's all academic. As the Crows through Laird, Floston has really had a cracker. Gee, he's shown his character, hasn't he? After a couple of blues early on, yep. could have quite easily gone into your shell. But no, nah, he's stood tall every time he's been needed since then. Lever. We'll get the free here. Shepard while the ball was too far away. It's just bubbling here at the moment. There's not one person that's left of the 100,021 here today. And I'm getting the feeling that every one of them is going to stay for the presentation. I don't think anyone wants to leave the arena. They're all so excited about what they're seeing, feeling understanding of where the Tigers have been. It hasn't been an easy road for them. 
Walker, high footy man, curve a sensational grab, and what a great get he has been. What a recruit. Gee. Kicks it wide, cut off by Lever, who goes to the pocket. Cameron takes a good mark. Well, the state of South Australia will be stunned in a state of shock tonight. They've had such a superb season until today. And uh, Cameron pokes it through for a goal. They're eighth for the match. The minor premiers, a team that we rated the best team all year. They've now got to go back to the drawing board. A couple of injuries late in the season hurt them, but they've got to work out next year how they can go again because we saw the way Richmond turned around a disastrous year last year. They can all change in a hurry. And talk about a, an exclusive club. Flags at three clubs as player and coach. Barassi, Matthews, Malthouse and Hardwick joins them as the fourth. Premierships at Essendon and Port Adelaide as a player. And now as a coach with the Tigers. Crouch. Cochin is going to hold that cup very, very soonly with the man that Bruce just spoke of. Marie Walsh. And this really is a time for the Tiger players where they know they can't be beaten. They know there's not much time left and they can really enjoy it. Hardigan goes long. Now Curvis is going to take the mark and he does. Nan Curvis, 3.44 left on the clock. Broad, just in his 12th game Two more for the Tigers. Just does his little bit. And I guess when you get down to the grand final, that's what they do. Everyone just does their little bit. Talia, Sloan, Edwards, Castagna, Martin. And now the human meatball, Dion Prestia, the all or nothing, and misses. Been good today, though, Dion Prestia, yeah. so good. 25 touches, one goal, two. Could he win it? He could, yep. Had a good first half, didn't he? That's yep. right. It'll be a blanket finish for the Norm Smith. He's right in there. Crouch to Douglas. Got a feeling Dusty might uh, have a clean sweep this year. Yeah. Premiership, Brownlow and... Norm Smith, he's been massive. Tell me, Bruce, would that be the first time yeah, in history? Absolutely. <laughs> so Laird on the up. Crouch kicking forward. Cameron kicked the goal a moment ago. Broad backtracking. Clever little kick to space. Grimes will let it run close to the line and he's happy. Boundary throw in. Brantz again there just turns a 50 50 ball into a win for the Tigers. Doesn't get a possession. And there's a crowd, BT, that you told us about. So, 100,000 people here. And it's just about been the toughest ticket to get for any grand final in living memory. And Tigers could probably have fielded a couple of times with what's happened in Melbourne over the last month. And Adelaide have got enormous support, we know that. Just can't imagine what is going to happen in Richmond tonight. Oh. With what I've seen in the lead-up today and this week generally, with the pubs, there's so many pubs in Richmond, old-school pubs. It's just going to be dynamite. <laughs> I don't know what we've unleashed, Brian. <laughs> It'd be crazy. Jacobs played really well early in the game as well. Grigg in there. Cochin hasn't had to carry as much of the load. Cochin hasn't had to get 30. 25, 20, early 20s is enough. But Richo, can you actually speak or not, Richo? <laughs> Look at him. I don't think he can, Bruce. Beautiful by Tim there. Yep. Cuddling the big bear. Here's Dusty. Still got it off. Townsend. Clever tap to Rewalt. Talia got in the way. Kelly fast hands. McKay and Hardy can combine as well. And Adelaide will get themselves out of trouble here to Douglas. So Douglas, in the last minute or two, little kick. Sloan very good early with those two first quarter goals. And then Douglas to centre half forward. Mark taken by Ashby.
a long time ago when we saying that Astrid and Blossom were a bit shaky in the back half. They've been terrific. And here he is, the captain. It's just a celebration of all good things Richmond right now. That famous moment, we saw it when Collingwood broke the drought, when Lee came down and now Dimmer. So, Hooli. Big fly from Castagna. Crouch. Laird, so good early. Jacobs to Brad Crouch. Long ball. Walker, front spot. Good hands. And then he squares it off to Lynch. He does. Lynch told to go. Little short ball here. Knight. Long way out. Riley Knight. Clock winding down. 20 seconds. Knight will line up with a few to go. What a moment this is going to be. Very close to a man on the mark. The Tigers. 37 years and the Tigers are kings of the jungle again. It is Tiger time, Bruce. There is no doubt about it at all. It's going to finish at the punt road end of the ground. Massive crowd today. The Tigers are going to win the Premiership in 2017. The Tigers have gone home for the first time in 37 years. the team today yeah i think you know today's performance echoes what we've been about all year and that's 22 contributors i mean dusty's pretty special but the guys have been fucking outstanding and that roar today too you go and enjoy it thanks mate thanks you richo yeah who have you got there richo jack how good is this mate it's unbelievable so proud of the guys not only the guys out here you see how much it means this group with the guys are here in suits didn't get a game today. Mate, what about your coach Damien Hubbard? Just tell us something about him again, mate. What was he like this week leading into the game? Uh, just stay the same, mate. We've we had a process in place as we've had. We've learned a lot of lessons over the year. We've had that same process. Who would have thought, mate? We finished 13th last year. Beat by 110 points in the last round, mate. And now we're fucking premiers. So, oh. 
You can say whatever you want, mate. Well done. You're a legend. You're a legend. We're going to present the coverage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Richo, I'm with Nick Foster. Nick, what a performance from you and the team again today. How are you feeling right now? Mate, I've lost the words. I don't know, I don't know who to hug next. It's, I never even dreamed of this. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. At, at what stage of the game did you start to think, OK, I'm going to be a premiership player? Uh, well, we got a couple of goals early in that last quarter. I was pretty confident. And then they tried to come back like we knew they would, but... So we're trying to celebrate, but keep it under. So the big come off now? Yeah, it'll come off next week or so. Well done, mate. Go and enjoy. Thanks to you. Got Dusty. Richard, who have you got? Dusty. Are you happy you slayed a tiger man, mate? Oh, fucking up for the It's awesome. Come on! Mate, tell me, tell me uh, what were you thinking, mate, out there as that siren went. Look at the crowd. It's going berserk. This is going to be incredible, mate. Mate, this, oh, I, I honestly cannot believe it. This is a dream come true. This is the best thing in the world, mate. What about uh, Rancy down back today? He is unbelievable, that player. I'm so proud of Rancy. I'm proud of each and every player. Not only on the play today, do the VFL, all the coaches, everyone involved, mate. It's awesome. Enjoy it, Dusty. What a year, mate. What a year. Yeah. Uh, Richard, I've got uh, Dion Preston with me now. He's got tears streaming down his cheek. Dion, congratulations. You're a premiership player. Oh, it's just unbelievable. Um, we knew it was going to be a grind all day, but we've, done it, we've just done it the last three games. It was unbelievable. It's, uh, yeah, we'll kick it in there. That's for sure. I'm a British player. Can you believe the last 12 months of Gold Coast Suns to the Tigers? Nah, nah, no, absolutely not. Um, I never thought I'd be here, and the way this group is, like, we just see, we just absolutely love each other, and that just shows on the, on the results. Mate, go and enjoy yourself. I'm just going to head over towards Josh Caddy. Hey, Josh, can I have a word with you? I know there's a lot of congratulations going on now. It must be like a dream come true for you. Oh, mate, it's like, it's like an out-of-body experience. It doesn't feel real. I just can't believe it. And it just all came together on the day again. I mean, your pressure, everyone's been talking about, but it was there again today for everybody to see. Good on you, Tim. Well done, Rich. Obviously, they're an unbelievable goals. side, and they've got, they've got a, great, a great defensive game and, and a great attack, and if we could quell that a little bit, be close by the half, would be a massive chance. Same way, and mate, I just can't believe it. We've just got not only the 22 that played today, but the whole club so tight knit, and every single bloke's a part of it. You see, Ivan Marriage is one of the guys that's turned this club around, and I just can't believe it, mate. I'm just so lucky to be a part of it. Congratulations, you're a premiership player. Go and enjoy yourself. I appreciate it. Thanks, mate. So, all the president's men, eh? 48 point win on a beautiful day at the MCG.
And ladies and gentlemen, what a moment here at the MCG. As we commence our formal presentations, we firstly would like to acknowledge and thank the AFL's premier partner, Toyota, represented today by Mr David Butner. David, thank you to the team at Toyota for your outstanding support of our great game. I'd also like to congratulate today's field, boundary and goal umpires on their contribution to today's grand final. Well, it's been a tough day at the office for the Crows, and I'm going to invite the captain, Tex Walker, to the podium to say a few words. Uh, firstly, congratulations, Richmond. Too good. Thanks to the sponsors. And sorry, Crows fans, we couldn't get it done, but thank you very much for travelling. Thank you. We look forward to seeing the Crows back in action in 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, would you now please welcome James Hurd to present the Norr Smith Medal to the player adjusted as best of field in the 2017 Toyota AFL Grand Final. Thank you, Craig. The winner of the 2017 Norm Smith Medal is Dustin Martin from the Richmond Football Club. every young footballer's dream to be on the grand final day as on the last Saturday in September. And ladies and gentlemen, it is with much pleasure that we welcome 22 winners of NAB AFL Oz Kicker of the Year competition from the NAB AFL Oz Kick program, who will now present medallions to the players of the Richmond Football Club. Starting with number one, Nick Lawson. Number two, Dylan Grimes. Number three, Dion Presia. Number four, Dustin Martin. Number five, Brandon Ellis. Number six, Sean Grigg. Number eight, Jack Rivas. Congratulations, you're a legend. Number ten, Shane Edwards. Number twelve, David Asprey. Number 14, Basha Huli. Number 17, Daniel Rioli. Number 18, Alex Rance. Great game, 
champion. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Number 21, Jacob Townsend. Number 22, Josh Caddy. Number 23, Kane Lambert. Number 25, Toby Nankervis. Number 33, Camden McIntosh. Number 34, Jack Graham. Number 35, Nathan Broad. Number 40, Dan Butler. Number 46, Jason Castagna. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, number nine, the captain, Trent Cotchen. Ladies and gentlemen, would you now please welcome to the podium Michael Malthouse to present the Jock McHale medal to the coach of the 2017 Toyota AFL Premiership team, Damian Hardwick of the Richmond Football Club. Firstly, uh, commiserations to Adelaide. Obviously had an amazing year uh, and continued that form through finals. The AFL and their partners, I'd like to thank Richmond sponsors, Jeep, Bingle, Swinburne and Puma. To all our board, staff, volunteers, there's so many people that make up a football club. Uh, they put hard earned, spend a lot of time at the footy club and, and it makes it a pretty special place to be around. Huge thanks to uh, our families, our friends, and uh, the boys. It's been an incredible year, uh, and I've just loved working alongside you all. And finally, a massive thank you to our fans and our members. You deserve this. Thank you, once again. We played an outstanding opposition today. You're a simply wonderful football club, wonderful organisation. We've got a great respect for the Adelaide Crows. We thank you for the competition today. I'd like to thank the AFL. I'd love to thank our sponsors in Jeep, Bingle, Host Plus, the Swinburne Centre and Puma for Dustin. I'd also sincerely love to thank Mrs Hardwick, who's somewhere up in those stands up there. <laughs> to Peggy, Brendan, our board, we did it. <laughs> to my assistant coaches, my football department, the love of my life, the players, I commend you, blokes, you're simply outstanding. I've never seen a side like you. 
you're unique. I love watching you play. You're an incredible team that is now a premiership team. And finally, to the Tiger Army. This one's for you! And now, the moments you've been waiting for. I have much pleasure in inviting Tiger great Matthew Richardson to present the Premiership Cup to Trent Cotton.